Okay, first grade. Today we are going to start painting our animals. And I'm not really sure how far each person is going to get. So right now you have your animal, but we don't know whose it is. And if we don't have time to do anything else today, we want to make sure that we can hand these out faster. So step number one with a pencil, please in the middle write your first name, your last name, your class code, you are one for first grade, and then you can look up at either the whiteboard or the chalkboard for your teacher code. Once you're done with that, you can put your pencil away. We can flip our paper over. You can grab a black oil pastel and we are going to outline our animal. Please remember oil pastels smear. So you're going to want to start at the top and work your way down. Anything that is colored black on your paper, you can go ahead and color it in black with your oil pastel. Once you're done outlining, before we paint it, because we're going to put our flowers behind our animal, we need to make sure that we are getting rid of the background. So with scissors, we are going to cut our animal out. But again, please be careful because anytime your hand goes across the oil pastel, it's going to smear black everywhere. The other thing that we want to make sure that we're doing is that we're cutting on the outside of the black line. We don't want to get rid of the oil pastel that we just drew. So make sure that the piece that you're cutting doesn't have very much black at all. We want all the black that we just did to keep showing.
Next, we're going to paint, and we have two different paint palettes. We have uh, the one that we've been using all year that has our normal colors plus brown. We also have the new animal colors, which are light tans, different types of browns, and different types of grays, but no solid blacks. So you'll be able to use um, any of those for your animal because some animals are going to need uh, different colors. You'll be able to grab uh, water. Remember, we're only filling it up to the number four. If uh, the numbers are too hard, you'll turn on the sinks and you'll hold the container under the water and you just count to three slow on your head. One, two, three. That's more uh, than enough water. If you fill it up too full, I'll just have you go ahead and go back to the sink and dump it. You and your partner will share a water and you'll grab a paintbrush. You will go ahead and dip your brush to get it wet. And remember, we want lots of color, so you want to do 10, 15, or even 20 spins to get your color nice and bright. One thing you're gonna notice that I'm doing is I am outlining all of my black oil pastel. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if I were to just go over the black, just like your hand, your paintbrush will smear it. So I'm going slow around my oil pastel. That way, once I'm done outlining, Filling it in will go much faster and be a lot easier. If you uh, don't finish before the end of class, remember we will just be putting them on the drying rack and then you can finish next week. Um, if you finish and there's still time left in class, this is all the painting we're going to do. So while other people are still working, you can go ahead and start putting your painting things away. So if you and your partner are both done, all the paints can get put away, your water can get dumped, your brushes um, can get cleaned out inside of your cup by spinning it around and then they can go back in the cup and we don't need the oil pastels um, or the scissors. The next thing that we'll be needing is glue for the next step and you'll be able to go ahead and grab that next video. Mm -hmm.